What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking about a delicious sweet coffee fragrance. I am talking about Paris Corners Eternal Coffee. And I gotta say this has been a hit in this household, especially with my wife. So we're gonna deep dive into this one in just a moment, so stay tuned. So before we jump into this, this was sent out to me by the good folks at Aroma Concepts. Those of you not familiar with Aroma Concepts, they are a nationwide distributor for Paris Corner. So I'll have a discount code saving you 10% off the already affordable prices down below if you want to check this fragrance out. Obviously this has no bearings on what I think about the fragrance, but it is noteworthy. I had to let you guys know it was sent out to me, but let's get into this review. Real quick, we'll take a look at the box. It's nothing special. I mean, it's, it's a box, but has the color scheme going on, Arabic writing, Paris Corners logo on the top, barcode, manufactured dates, all that good stuff on the bottom, some more information on the back, but um, like I said, it's just, it's just a box. Now as far as the bottle, I do like the design to this, it has this matte brownish type of finish, almost like a coffee-ish colored brown, with more of a beige type of color, gold print, looks similar to the box style. Have some information on the sticker down below. There's nothing on the back. Cap does not hold super well into place, but then again, it's it's not awful either. And it's got this marbleized look to it. Not real heavy, but I mean, it is kind of a cool cap. And then you have the gold atomizer that puts out as it should. But let's talk about this scent, shall we? So I have to say, when you first spray this one, according to my wife, every time I spray it, and I quote, it smells like coconut in here. So the coconut is very distinguishable in this. For being a milky sweet cream coffee fragrance, the coconut note does stand out. It's more of a creamy candy coconut because of the lactonic milky nature of this fragrance. You do have a kind of medium roast feel to the coffee because there's so many sweet notes. You have sugar, you have tonka bean. There's a creamy accord to this, caramel and such. It basically smells in the realm of a latte meets a caramel macchiato in many ways, plus some coconut. If you like gourmand drink type aromas, you're going to like this. This is definitely one of the better coffee fragrances in my collection. I have to say, this is a great release from them if you like sweet coffee fragrances. Um, everything I just mentioned is basically what you're going to get from it, but it just cracks me up every time I spray it. When the wife walks by or if I walk by and she happens to smell me, it's, it smells like coconut. You smell like coconut again. It smells like coconut in here. I've heard it a few times now and it makes me giggle every time because I do pick up the coconut, but apparently it's the most dominant note to my wife uh, aside from the caramel and the coffee, which I find to be the other two most dominant notes in this fragrance, but it smells delicious, totally unisex, nothing feminine leaning about it, nothing masculine leaning about it. In regards to performance, it's not some outlandish beast, beast like you think it might be. Uh, it is a good performer, not a phenomenal performer. I, I've been getting in that seven to eight hour range in longevity, so I can definitely put it in that six to eight hour longevity category, which is above average. That is, that's great longevity. It's not beast mode territory, but it lasts a long time. I mean, seven or eight hours, that's a long time for a fragrance. Projection is on the heavy side in the first two hours, though. It's... It pretty much fills this apartment when I spray it five times. That's kind of been the case. So beyond arm's reach, like moderate to slightly moderate heavy kind of thing going on for about two hours, roughly, with projection. And the sillage is more in that moderate range where you will get nice whiffs of it. It's a pretty thick aroma overall, which is surprising that it doesn't last longer than eight hours. But again, it's hard to complain about the eight-hour range and longevity. Obviously, your mileage may vary. You may get even better than me, which I'm sure some people do. And then I would say safely, you're probably going to get in the realm of what I get in the six to eight hour range. But across the board, it is definitely above average in all three subcategories of performance. Final thoughts on Eternal Coffee from Paris Corner. It's impressive. It wasn't my favorite from the haul, 
but it's one of, I gotta say, it's one of the more joyful wearing experiences of the fragrances I've tested and reviewed from this last particular haul from Aroma, Aroma Concepts, because this is now the third fragrance that I've reviewed from that particular four fragrance haul. And it's a great fragrance, I have to say. And with that said, it is an eight out of 10 overall great rating. I think there's a lot of people that would enjoy this. Retail is $37 before the 10% off code. It's a solid performer, well above average, not even, you know, nothing weak about this one. Delectable, delicious smelling, perfectly unisex. I mean, there's a whole lot to like about this and nothing I can really see that's not to like unless you just don't like sweet and creamy fragrances. If you don't like sweet and creamy, avoid this one at all costs because that is basically what the fragrance is. It's sweet, it's creamy, it lasts for a pretty good amount of time, and it's a couple's fragrance that both in the household can enjoy. Once again, thank you to Aroma Concepts for sending this my way. This has been a pleasure to test. I will continue to wear it, probably more so once the fall rolls around. That's typically when I like to reach for the coffee fragrances, mainly in the winter time. December is kind of like the coffee fragrance month for me, so expect in the month of December to see this one in weekly rotations for those of you that follow my weekly rotation. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried this one? What do you think about it? Are you a fan? Was it a pass for you? Too sweet? I could see that, because like I said, it's it's sugar, it's tonka bean, that vanillic feel. There's caramel in here, but a lot to like about it. I definitely enjoyed this one. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on Eternal Coffee from Paris Corner and you give it a spray now, there's always that chance you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys.